Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can use the continuous speech recognition in MIT App Inventor. This idea is suggested by Tech with Duvrang. So big shout out to him. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and turn on all notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. First of all, let's start a new project and name it Continuous Speech Recognition. For the continuous speech recognition, we mainly need speech recognizer version 8 and clock. So these two components uh, will help us make a continuous speech recognition app. Okay, so where can we find the version 8 of the speech recognizer? Search in Google speech recognizer version 8 codular and enter it. Or you can click the link given in the description and I click the first website this one after it loads scroll down and you will find a link under a diagram or named keyword logic this one is marked blue as a SC speech recognizer version 8 the size is 20 KB click on it first uh, you need to log in or sign up here otherwise you won't be able to download any extensions from this website named codular okay so I am already logged in so I'll click this link and it should get downloaded. Yes, it is downloaded. Now go to MIT App Inventor. Click on extension and import extension. Then drag and drop this file or you can choose it from your computer. Now click import and it will take some seconds to import. After it is imported, uh, drag and drop it in the screen to add it to the app. Now we will need the clock component which is in the sensor section. Click on the sensors and then drag and drop the clock into the screen. Okay, so these are the main two things uh, we need for the continuous speech recognition. So to display and uh, see if the app is working or not, we need a level. So I'll drag and drop a level. First, a vertical arrangement so that the app looks clean. Click on the vertical arrangement layer and set its height and width to fill parent. Now let's design it. I will keep everything to center and uh, keep the levels font size to 30. Okay. And the vertical arrangements background color to white. Also, we will need a switch so that we can turn on and off the continuous speech recognition. So, go to user interface and drag and drop a switch into the screen or above the screen. Okay, so I will keep the font size of the switch to 20 and the text to uh, continuous. Okay, SR on slash off. SR means speech recognition and on off okay now it's set it's only for understanding you can design it uh, in your choice okay so now we'll go to block section and when screen one initialize it is optional but you can get the initialize block click on level one set level text to block and get a blank text box and set it as blank so now we need to code for the switch now we need to get the when switch one changed block okay so when switch one is changed then we need to get an if statement if then else okay when switch one is changed if it is turned on so click one click on switch one and get the text uh, get the block uh, if turned on yes if switch is on if switch one is on then what it should do it should set the clock to enabled set clock one enabled to true set clock one timer enabled to true click this click this one and uh, write and type true on keyboard and press enter so it will automatically get attached now this one is a set clock one time and enable to do then we should uh, uh, tell the speech recognizer to get text so click on speech recognizer and uh, get the block uh, get 
call speech recognizer to get text and attach it in the then function okay so this is the coding when switch will be on and else means when switch will be off so when the switch will be turned off then we want to uh, we want the clock one timer enabled to false so duplicate it and change the true statement to false okay so this is now the coding for the switch now we need to set the clock's interval so by default it is set for 1000 means one second that it will restart the the speech recognizer will restart after every one second this 1000 means 1000 milliseconds and we know 1000 milliseconds equals to one second okay so now you can keep it uh, like uh, 2000 milliseconds or 3000 milliseconds according according to the number of seconds you want after which the speech recognizer should turn on so i will keep it 1000 seconds okay and when switch one will be turned on uh, then the speech recognizer will get text and now we will code for the clock when clock will be enabled that uh, uh, get that clock when clock timer one now we will need the same if then else statement click on it and duplicate it the same coding is for both the switch and clock okay so just duplicate and paste it just the commands are different so now this uh, is for the screen uh, screen one initialize and this is the coding for the switch and this is the coding for the clock after the switch and the clock are changed then the speech recognizer will get text so after it get text what it should do so click on the speech recognizer and get the block after getting text so after getting text what it should do after getting text it should set our speech into the level so click on level one and get the block set level one text to click on the result and get the get result drag and drop the get result variable and attach it with this block okay so this is now done now let's test our app okay so now i have connected through the ai companion and the app is ready so as we have coded if i turn the uh, switch on and uh, say something continuously then our speech will be recorded and the text level here will show that up so let's test it out first now if i talk something now it don't record like hello nothing but when i turn on the switch and uh, say something like hello it will record my speech and type it down uh, and uh, then from then on it will start recording my speech continuously after the every time interval of 1000 seconds as i have mentioned here okay so let's turn on hello how are you i am fine okay so now you will see that uh, whatever i am talking to you now uh, it will record all the things um, let's see okay but if i turn it off now and uh, say something then it it won't record anything anymore hello hello how are you Okay, so that's the example of uh, a speech recognition, uh, continuous speech recognition. And um, this is the part one. In part two, we will, co we will in part one, we have coded it with, the, with just one level. Like uh, whenever we say something, our speech gets uh, uh, typed here. But in part two, you will uh, code this with the list picker. List picker means uh, whatever we will say, our uh, speech will be recorded one by one. Like if I now say hello, it will first record hello. And after that, if I say how are you, it will uh, record the how are you. It will type the how are you text after the beneath the hello text. Okay, so let's uh, let me show you the demo of uh, how the uh, part two is uh, how the app in part two gonna work okay so we'll code something like this in part two not completely but something like this so this thing this black thing is the list picker and uh, uh, these are nothing we'll, we won't code these things these are higher level these are of higher level uh, we'll just code this one and this one okay so now uh, let's see how this works uh, so this is our app and uh, let me first uh, make all this invisible because we are not gonna code this okay so this is uh, the auto speech recognition and if i uh, turn it on yeah if i turn both this one hello hello how are you how are you i am fine 
I am fine. One, two, three. One hundred twenty-three. Okay. Okay, wait. If you were thinking that how is the app talking back to us uh, and how to do that, uh, it's, it's simple. You just simply had, have to add the text to speech extension in MIT App Inventor and uh, adding that uh, in the after speaking block of the speech recognizer and uh, setting the code like that. You can uh, make a feature like this that the app talks back to you the same thing you talked it to. You can watch my Talking Tom app uh, and uh, see how to code that and uh, how it works. Like like share share comment comment subscribe subscribe okay so now this is the prompt coming that uh, the speech recognizer is currently turned on if i want to clear this all then uh, this is the clear button delete button clear all button if we uh, click this and uh, everything will be cleared okay so we will code this in part two for that stay tuned with my channel by subscribing and turning on all notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, stay safe.